So I'm finally back taking a look at another e-scooter and this is an off-road one. As you can see, it's got large chunky tires. They are 11 inches, rear hub motor that's a thousand watts and it weighs about 26 kilos, this model here. It's from iScooter and it is their iX6 model. It has a collapsible handlebar, dual suspension. Well, it's actually got four little shocks on it. So front and rear suspension, mechanical disc brakes, a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour or 45 kilometers per hour if unlocked and a range of 45 kilometers. So in this video, I'll be going through it in depth with my tests and I'll let you know all about this iScooter model, the iX6. So unlocking it very easy with that NFC key. Acceleration with the press down thumb throttle. It's smooth, very smooth. And that motor is really quiet. You don't hear the motor at all. Like I cannot hear it. It's not a high pitch whining noise. You don't get any vibrations coming from the motor. And it is quite smooth. I like the fact that we have a bit of clearance too under it. it means like this little curb right here, I can go along, I can pop that front wheel up, go up the back, the suspension, doing the work, and the tires. The tires do soak up quite a bit of the little bumps here too as well. I've noticed that the suspension is, is a little firm, but I like that it's not too soft. It means it's not going to bottom out uh, with my weight either. I'm about approximately 82 kilos. And it does have that cruise control. So the more you or longer hold down that throttle, it will then lock on the cruise control so you can lock in your speed then. And that does make it quite comfortable too when you're just cruising along. Up ahead is a little bit of a rough road. And again, you can feel that suspension soaking up a little bit of that and the tires. So I'm running in them only around 30 PSI. So they're reasonably soft and they're self-sealing as well. So that's why I don't run 40, which would be a lot harder. 30 has a tiny bit of give in it. Right now for a top speed test, this is the only time I'm gonna do this. It's in a car park, so not on the public roads here. Using that NFC key again, very simple to turn it on. You just press it around that area and there it is, it's on. So I'll go into the top level, which is turbo and we'll see what kind of speeds I can get up to. So acceleration now with it unlocked in the off-road mode. It does feel a bit better. So I'm at 28, 29, 31, 32, 33 kilometers per hour, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and I should be able to get up to 45 kilometers per hour, but that is all the room I really have for. So good top speed on the scooter with the thousand watt motor. Now my climb test, this is 20 degrees. We have the thousand watt motor, 48 volt system. And I am slowing a little, as you can see, down to 16 kilometers per hour, 16, 15, 14 in the steeper patches. But the good thing is I don't have to start kicking. Not at all. There's so many other scooters on the market that don't handle this climb at all. Emergency braking test now from 30 kilometers per hour from the white post. Whoops, <laughs> locking the, the rear up a little bit, but good braking performance, very good. That's better than most scooters. Because of those chunky off-road style tires, our mechanical disc brakes, braking performance is excellent with the iX6. This is where this scooter is ideal. Off-road, a little bit of stones, handles this so well. There is no way I would attempt this with, say, a Xiaomi scooter. And to be able to do it, that's fine, but nowhere near as good as this because of those fat tires, the suspension. It is doing a great job at soaking this up, making the ride quite smooth too. Included in the box, you'll find this travel pouch. So you can strap this around the front handlebar and it allows you just to carry a few things around. But inside here, you'll find our charger. So charge time is about seven to nine hours for our 17.5 amp hour battery. We've got a toolkit, two charging plugs, so EU and UK, the two NFC keys, and here an instruction manual of the iX6. 
The iX6 does have four of these adjustable shocks, so the full suspension is great. I find out of the box it's a little stiff. I will probably loosen them up a little bit more, but it's great that we have this option to adjust the suspension on it. As I mentioned in the intro there, that it's a thousand watts peak, this motor. It runs on a 48 volt system, and I really do like these tires. Chunky off-road tires with plenty of tread, so they're 11 inches, so that's larger than what you typically see. Most scooters are eight or 10 inches. Mechanical ventilated disc brakes that are 120 millimeters, and you can adjust them. There's some adjustment here. Braking performance is excellent, and I'll be covering that with my emergency braking test later in this review. But it's not just mechanical disc brakes we have with it. The rear hub motor also acts as an electric brake. The ground clearance is good. You can see we've got plenty of space here being an off-road focused e-scooter. So the charging port with its little dust cap here is located on the right side. Charging time is about seven to nine hours for the 17.5 amp hour battery or 840 watt hours. The front and the rear mudguards are made out of a strong ABS style plastic. They look very sturdy, they're held into place firmly, and it looks like we won't have that problem that you see with a lot of the other scooters, cheaper scooters, where that rear mudguard seems to always break off. This one seems very solid. And note that we have some lights here at the back. They're all three of them are red. So we have the rear brake light and then left and right indicators. And I find at night they are very bright, so that adds to our safety along with the two blue strips that we have on the top deck next to the grip tape. This gives the iX6 quite a modern look to it. And note that we've got here, you can see two bolts. Now those bolts are used in conjunction with an optional seat post, which can drop down. So if you wanna sit down on the scooter, well, they have you covered there because you can get that seat. The front headlight is very good, it's powerful. It's got these four LEDs built within it and it lights up the path ahead of me. I can see where things are clearly. So folding up the scooter is very easy. You just need to loosen off the handlebars. So it just takes a few seconds to screw those off and then you're able to drop them down. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you how you can do it and then loosen off our locking bolt. Then you can drop that handlebar down. You clip it into the top where the rear mudguard is, rear fender and Easy enough to lift into the trunk or boot of a car because it's only 26 kilos. Not bad considering the size of it. Because it is a large scooter, you will obviously need quite a large boot or trunk to fit it in. But here it is in a estate or in other countries, a station wagon. And it takes up pretty much the whole space here. But I don't at least have to put the seats down or anything. This is what the key looks like. It simply just states iScooter. So it's got the NFC chip in there. Hold it up to the screen just around this area, and then it will power on. The screen is very clear, it is bright, and no, it doesn't flicker like this. It's just on camera because they have to use a, quite a high shutter rate in order to capture it correctly, at least to show you what it's like. So you'll see that we've got here the average speed stats that it will go through. You can see our voltage, the battery gauge, the current level we are in. So we have three different levels. The first one is Eco, then we have the standard and then turbo with our assist well. The level there is the maximum. You'll see it alternates between the odometer here and trip meter. You can clearly see the speed and flashing at the moment. That is the cruise control option, which I do have enabled. Now you can unlock it so you can get up to 45 kilometers per hour with this model. I currently have it locked to 25 because of the country where I am in and based Spain. That is the legal limit here. The hand grips, they're not lock grips, but they don't move at all. So these are not going anywhere. They are really solid. And what I like about them too is they're nice and thick. They've got a little padding to them and they're very comfortable to hold onto. So here we do have our controls. There's the light, obviously. We have a horn, which is super loud. I'll give you a sample of this now. One of the loudest I have heard that is truly deafening. Up and down the different speed and power levels and then the M mode button there, and our power button, obviously. The iX6 does use a push-down style throttle. If I press this now, it's just gonna simply take off. You can disable this. You can, if you go through the settings, it's in the manual to have it kick off and then press before for safety, which is a good option to have. And the handlebars, so they are foldable. And I like this design. It's very solid because it is screwed into place. Others have a spring-loaded mechanism, which gives the handlebars quite a bit of play. They don't feel that solid. These ones, they screw in 
really tight and they give me a lot of confidence, unlike the other design. The handlebar height is adjustable. There is a quick release right here. So I've loosened it off and dropped it right down at the moment. And it's simply just a matter of pulling it up and then pushing that quick release in and you're ready to go. Okay, so before I mount or someone walks in front of the camera again, let me talk about the range. So I managed to get to halfway and I had covered 23 kilometers. So you can reach that 40, 45 kilometer range, which is great to see because a lot of manufacturers, even with 17.5 amp hour batteries, 48 volt system and a thousand watt motor will make some outrageous claims like, oh, you can get a hundred kilometers out of it. But no, it's realistic what they say it is. So like the chunky tires, as I mentioned quite a few times, the full suspension, it's a little stiff at the start, especially at the front, but you can loosen it up a little, which is going to help the ride. I like the, the front light, especially the light on the deck here is good and there's plenty of room for my feet. And just overall, a very comfortable ride. It's smooth for cruising around. We've got the cruise control option there too. And if you unlock it, then you can get up to that 45 kilometers per hour. And with it locked down is that kind of range you're gonna get about that 45 kilometers. Bear in mind, if you've got it unlocked, then you will not be getting about uh, 45 kilometers. It'll be a lot less because you're going a lot faster using more energy. It makes sense there. So all up, if you're after an off-road style scooter with the large chunky wheels with the full suspension, rear wheel drive just for cruising around especially if you've got poor roads around it's definitely worth a look here the iScooter ix6 thanks a lot for watching my review hope to see you back with more up and coming e-scooter reviews